No, Brother Oban, you should not minister like this. Huh? You should not minister like this. I mean, we go straight to the point. The Holy Spirit showed me that you have a son. Okay. So we talk for 10 minutes and then afterwards, we, we go back to the first stage. Why not we boil in our heart first? I'm sure Jesus Christ sees visions. And then he wait for it to play out. Then he minister. He do not speak out everything he saw. Okay. The greetings, uh, sisters. How are you? How can I help you? In Jesus' name. So recently I had a, a boyfriend. So I want to know if this relationship is from God or not. Okay, why didn't you bring the the male here? <laughs> He's not a believer yet. I weep for you. Christians, I really weep for all of you. I, I really weep for, for all of you. The Bible says that the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet. Meaning, as a minister of God, you should learn how to restrain your own words. Even at the last day, Jesus Christ still tells his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but more than what you can bear. <laughs> So there are still words that Jesus Christ wished to tell his 12 friends. But he died already. He said, the Holy Spirit will tell you my words. Can you imagine that level of faith? But for us, minister of God, every vision we see, we must, we must say out. But then the result is not there. So my sister, I have much more things to tell you, okay? But uh, my advice is, finish the Bible once and pray in your heart first. It's not time for you to get married, okay? We love you. So she already said in her heart that she wants to marry a non-believer. What else can I say? You already want to marry a non-believer. Why still come to here for to ask for guidance? Christ is totally outside your life right now. Such a good good looking lady. Christ is totally outside your life. Uh, if you know Christ's resurrection, you want to enter his most holy place. Only Peter, James, and John entered the most holy place to see Jesus standing with Elijah and Moses. But you cannot see that. We, we don't care about that. We have pastors saying that in the book of Revelation, there is this verse said that the army would be twice times 10,000 times 10,000. So these big pastors in Africa, they say that these 200 million can only come from China. Because it cannot come from Russia, because Russia only has 150 million. So it can only come from China. So the enemy on the last day would... Uh, China is the Gog and Magog prophecy in the book of Ezekiel to invade. And so many pastors, they say that before Jesus Christ come back, we must rebuild Mount Zion. We, Israel must become an independent nation firmly. Uh, this is the location. He will come back on Mount of Olives. No. Jesus Christ, God will never tell you the location of where the second coming of Christ is when you have not even took part in his first coming. Mm. You cannot even hear God's voice and yet they know that where the location would be that the, the second coming of the Lord would stand on. This is why when Jesus Christ is born on earth, he is born in Bethlehem. But nobody knows he is born in Bethlehem. People thought that he come from Nazareth, which is not in Bethlehem. Can you see God say something, but then he still can tweak it? So you know the location where Jesus Christ will come the second time, but he will never be there. Just as he is born in Bethlehem, but he's a Nazarene. Then now Pastor Chris, oh yeah, Hilome says that we have a few years left. Huh? And the uh, first resurrection, thousand years have not come. No, it has already happened. What's the point of Christ's first coming? Greetings, sister. How are you? As I look on you, I see the dove of the Holy Spirit resting on you in Jesus' name. Because you are a Christian since your childhood when you are a little girl. Where is your husband? I do not see your husband living by your side. I mean, I but look now, he's, he has left you already. So ministers of God, you see how I minister? 
I straight away mute her because I know what I'm going to say. To minister to someone, the Holy Spirit only needs seven minutes. You see, Lord have two daughters. Okay, and the angel of the Lord wanted to save the daughter's spouse. But the daughter's spouse is like, huh? I, I don't believe. Okay, they all die. No mercy, no cares at all. If this is you how can't. the angel of the Lord feel, you as as a, a wife or as a husband, follow the angel of the Lord's thinking. The Lord will grant you someone better. Okay, I want to pray for your stomach because you have an operation in the past and this has given you stomach problems. Receiving things from God, sister, you have to open your eyes. We receive things from God by our heart, not by raising our hands. So the people who don't have hands, meaning they cannot receive any things from God. Uh, no, we receive things by our heart. And uh, congratulations. I want to pray for your... I want to, I want to pray for your daughter. So my daughter married many years, but she's not pregnant. Can you imagine this? I prophesy got a daughter. Her... Her prayer request is she wants her daughter to be pregnant. Can you imagine this? No, it's not something to be happy about. I say I want to pray for your daughter. Very, very true man of God. Please pray because my daughter is not pregnant. You, you want more children, but our Lord Jesus don't have any children. So our thinking will have to shift, okay? Our beloved sister. Huh? Because blessed are the womb that did not bear a child and blessed are the breasts that did not nurse, said Christ. If you truly understand what that means, we will restrain ourselves and say, go deeper, prophet job. And not Wait. to jubilate when the prophecy is correct. Because before your daughter was born, there was another one. And I see a male child. Yes, I had an abortion. Okay. So this is why I never say it's a son. You only say a son when the son has come out. I say a male child because it's not born, you know. If you are conscious of the Holy Spirit, you will just look at her, her, her checkered shirts. You just keep on staring at the checkered shirts. You don't look at her face. You will now see that there's a son standing behind her and there's a girl standing in front of her. And you should say the daughter first because the daughter word is bigger than the son. Then now the son now changed to a male child because you, you will know that there's a reason why the Holy Spirit showed the daughter word is bigger. And then the son is so small because the son is, is, is not here with her, you know. Now you can see why I never prophesied to Miss Z just now, the, the Chinese lady who want to marry the unbeliever. It's because there's no point. You put God's name at stake by prophesying to, to, to a Gentile. Jesus Christ only ministered to those who have the chance of taking part in the resurrection. Okay, this is why sometimes the prophecy is wrong. It's because you prophesy to someone who God does not want to speak to. Do you think God will want to speak to someone who, who is set to do, to become a... a uh, do a worldly job, a worldly spouse, and uh, all these things. No. But I prophesy to this lady because first things first, there's a doubt that come upon her. I saw you, Nathaniel, under the fig tree meditating to God before Philip called you. Then you can prophesy. If the person never see under the fig tree, there's nothing to do. So sister, you need to understand God more. All right? The stomach operation I was talking about is the abortion that I'm talking about. He has harmed your body uh, once and twice. If you truly believe that God loves you, this meeting is just complimentary. It's not mandatory for you to receive your blessing. So now the question is, you may be asking in your heart, what is my calling? Your calling is to live a life like Jesus Christ. Jesus is your calling. Straightforward as that. Then when people say, okay, my calling is to follow Jesus. Let me enroll into a Bible school. Immediately you fail already. Since when did Jesus enroll into a Bible school? He wanted fishermen 
non-teachers of the law who are humble as a little child, who know that they can go to heaven even though they never go to Bible school. And the books that we are reading today, we have read, we have read more books than Christ Jesus himself. And yet Jesus can still go to the highest level of heaven. Jesus only need to read the Old Testament and he yes. know what to do. And then we have the Mormons. They say the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Last Testament, our prophet mm, Joseph Smith. Mm, I read so much things. Still do not know whether you can go to heaven or not. Jesus Christ read so little, he straight away go to heaven. Even the Gospels that you read in the Bible were written, were written some 40 years after Jesus was resurrected. Can you imagine the early church who believed in Christ? There's no New Testament for 40 years. And we know they can go to heaven. Even Apollos, who only knew the baptism of John, he just needed some additional teachings and they are good to go. Now we want to read from Genesis to Revelation, plus this book, that book, 10 more other books. Whereas Jesus Christ only read from Genesis to Malachi. Reading the Gospel of Mark is equivalent to reading the Gospel of Matthew. If you read the Gospel of Luke, it's equivalent to reading the Gospel of Matthew. Because once you read the manner of the Spirit of Jesus, you will know how he will minister, how he will behave, how he will react. There's no need to to, to read all four of the Gospels in order to, and still not able to find out. We should know how Christ react. The early church, they possess just one, the Gospel of Mark. Now we have all four, plus X, people who went before us, their experiences, plus Corinthians, plus Romans, plus Revelation, and we are still not equipped enough. No, it is enough already. By simply trusting the Lord, have Christ's characteristics. Would Christ have done this? Would Christ have spoken too much? Would Christ have talked too much unnecessary things? Then we'll be able to receive the Holy Spirit. Don't worry, Brother Oban, because, uh, because, because you are transfigured today. <laughs> I, I think you can you can have a competition with with the with the pastor to see which camera quality is is lower. You know, <laughs> okay. I will go out to the street now, and I will camera the sun clapping. Okay, so so it's either I I take a like this, and I or I use the editing program. Okay, I will do that. When the fire of God come down, it licked up the water around the sacrifice. And everybody saw it. But this one is only one camera that captured it. And when people say that, I see an angel talking to me. You as a minister of God, do not immediately say, congratulations, God bless you. And, min and then minister accordingly. Even the Kenya pastor said that he is Jesus Christ himself because an angel said that he is the son of God. There was a teacher of the law that asked Jesus. He said, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment? Jesus did not even reply him. Jesus asked him back and said, How do you read the scriptures? So similarly, we should not tell this uh, sister with the black jacket what she already know by saying that Jesus Christ said this, Jesus Christ said that. Rather, ask her, say, how do you read the scriptures? This is why when we are talking to her, she is like this. When will this, this person stop talking? Mm. Mm. How do you read the scriptures? Okay, then now counsel according to her heart. This will now save us 10 minutes of our time. Uh, and moving in this pace, the meeting is going to end two more hours later. <laughs>